Hello everyone, happy to see you here. Really interesting problem today. We have m to the ninth power minus m cube equal to six. And we need to find our m. As you can see, we have ninth power right here. So it looks like we have no more than nine roots, so a lot of roots. But in this video, I'm going to show you how to find real roots real quick. First of all, we can taste that right here we have m to the ninth power. It's really good because nine and three is really good number because nine can be written as three square. So as a result, we can easily write it in another way. Take a look how can we write it. We know the rule if we have a to the power b, for example, raised to the power c. We can easily multiply it and we will have a to the power b times c. So we need to know this rule. We can easily multiply it and we will have this situation. But how can we use this rule right here and we have m cube right here? Take a look closely. If we write it as m cube raised to the third power minus m cube equal to six. And take a look closely. If we use this rule, if we apply this rule, we have three times three, which is equal to nine. So this is completely the same. I hope you understand this step. And let's go further. Right here we have m cube and right here we have m cube. How can we work with this? Of course, using substitution because we have m cube, it's not, uh, it's hard to work with this. We need to let the substitution. So let this m cube equal to, for example, in our case, it will be equal to t. And what equation we will have? We will have t right here, but not t, t cube. We will have t cube right here minus t. And I bring this six on the left hand side. So minus six equal to equal to zero. And as you can see, we have nine ninth power equation. Right now we have third power equation. We have cube equation. Of course, there are a lot of methods. How can we solve this cube equation? But I want to show you the, my method that I only use. There are a lot of methods. Firstly, I find the factors of these six. So factors. What factors we will have? We will have plus minus one, plus minus two. We'll have as well plus minus three and plus minus six. We need to check it real quick, but I want to start with the obvious one. So let's start with plus one, for example. If you plug in plus one right here, as you can see, we have one cube minus one minus six. It's clear that this is not equal to zero. So this root is not good for us. Let's go minus one real quick. If we have minus one, what will have minus one cube minus minus one and minus six, it looks like not equal to zero. And this is how it is. It is not equal to zero. And let's check, for example, plus two, let's go further. So plus two, we will have two cube minus two minus six. And as you can see, we have eight, eight minus eight, which is equal to zero. So we can easily see that we find one of our factors. Take a look closely. T minus two is our factor, so we can easily factor it. And we need to find another parenthesis. But how can we find another parenthesis? I want to show you a great tricky move right here. Take a look, we have t cube minus t minus six, but I want to write it in another way. So take a look, I write t cube and I write minus two t square and plus two t square. Why I write this? Because I want to show you a really good trick in after. And minus four t I write plus three t minus six equal to zero. And take a look why I write it, because this sum equal to zero. So we can easily cancel it. And this sum equal to minus t. So as you can see, this is our equation t cube minus t minus six, as you can see right here. But right now, we can easily group by two in pair and factor t minus two. Take a look, if we factor from this one, t square, what we'll have? We will have t square in the parentheses t minus two. Let's go to this one, minus two t square minus four t. Let's factor plus 2t. And if you factor from here, we will have t minus 2 in parentheses. And the last one, 3t minus 6, we can easily factor 2. Or not 2, just 3 plus 3, and t minus 2 in parentheses, equal to 0. This is my approach. Of course, there are a lot of approaches. How can you solve it, this cube equation, using formulas, but I use this way as well. So right now, t minus 2, t minus 2, and t minus 2. We can easily factor it. So t minus 2. In parentheses, we will have t square plus 2t and plus 3 equal to 0. Equal to 0. And right now, take a look closely, product equal to 0, then t minus 2 equal to 0. From here, t equal to 2. And this one, t square plus 2t plus 3 equal to 0. How can we find it? Of course, let's start with discriminant. If we are talking about discriminant, we will have 
uh, b square 4 minus 4 times 1 times 3. As you can see, this is negative 1. So right here we will have two complex, complex roots. And if you go to substitution, we will have two right here. If you plug in, in this cube equation, we'll have six pair of complex roots. So if you're interested in all roots, you can easily go with this complex roots plug in, in this substitution and we will have six pairs of complex roots. But we are interested in, in, in real numbers. So we have t minus t equal to 2, m cube equal to t. So m cube equal to 2. And we can easily take cube root from both of the side. m equal to cube's root of 2. This is our this is our answer. Of course we can check this answer real quick, take a look closely, we will have cubes root of 2 to the ninth power minus cubes root of 2 cube equal to 6. As you can see real quick, right here we will have 2 because we have cubes root and this 3 and right here we have 2 to the power 1 third, right, right here, 2 to the power 1 third right to the ninth power. So multiplying 2 cube We'll have 2 cubed minus 2 equal to 6, which is absolutely correct. This is my approach to this problem. Maybe you find another method. How can you solve it? Of course, thank you for your likes, for your comments. It helps me a lot. It inspires me a lot to make a new content every day. So thank you so much. Leave any comment and have a great day. See you in the next videos.